Hello everyone and welcome to another behind the scenes look here at weather.com. I'm meteorologist Tim Ballast. We're going to take a look at Hurricane Ike in this edition. This is a visible satellite loop of Hurricane Ike courtesy of Colorado State University. In the past Ike had a, a, a very classic shape to it when it comes to its overall appearance and of course the uh, center of circulation or the eye. Uh, recently um, northerly shear has really gotten at it and kind of diminish some of the thunderstorm activity, especially on the northern edge of Ike, and that really disrupted some of the development of Ike as it's making its way in through the west central Atlantic. And some of this northerly shear is dictated or can be depicted on this map that I'm courtesy of uh, University of Wisconsin-Madison at the Space Science and Engineering Center. This kind of shows these arrows pointing at some of the northerly shear that's been impacting uh, Ike over the past, say, 24 hours. But um, what we're forecasting, what we're expecting is that over time as Ike moves west, that that shear is actually going to lessen, which will then actually help um, Ike either maintain its intensity or actually allow it to develop um, over time. So when it comes to steering, what do we have? Well, we actually have an upper level ridge here in the west central Atlantic stationed well off the east coast of the United States. It's actually the same steering current that's helping to um, steer um, Hannah. But in this case, what we have is this ridge that in place is actually going to help to keep Ike more on a westerly trajectory over the next three to four to five days. And what does that mean is that in the next few days we could actually see Ike become precariously getting close to the, the southeastern Bahamas and then over time perhaps getting closer and closer to either as far south as the north central coast of, of Cuba or as far north as the east central coast of Florida, but a lot of the model consensus at this time is actually taking it in through the Florida Straits. And then from there, well that's another question mark, what happens after Ike passes the Florida Straits and gets into the Gulf? But we'll answer that question um, through time. So the, here at the Weather Channel on weather.com, we are very worried about this whole area uh, from the southeast of Bahamas and into north central coast of Cuba and into south Florida and over time perhaps even into the Gulf. Here's our best look, uh, best guess right now when it comes to the projected path. Notice the time here as early as Sunday morning impacting the southeastern um, Bahamas and then during, um, as we get into early next week, Monday and Tuesday, getting closer and closer to the Florida Keys and South Florida. So just everybody here in this vicinity really needs to monitor like, its development, its progression, and how quickly or how strong it can grow over the next three to four days. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I am meteorologist Tim Ballastine.